All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to Tutorial Thursday, and we have a special guest today. And we're going to do a recreation of my Honey Bee Manny from Instagram about a year ago. And we're going to go ahead and get into our products. What we used for this Manny is MXM054 from Maniology. MXM053 M093 We used Sinful Colors Save the Bees We used Clean Color Neon Yellow Essie's Transcend the Trend Essie's Trick Click Salon Perfect She's a Star And then we have two A light purple and a white from LA Colors They don't have names We have our black stamping polish This one's from Queen Quick Dry Top Cut from Sacha Vite our smudge free top coat and sticky base from Miniology. All right, so we're starting with the sinful colors. And we're going to need at least two coats. So we can actually see. <laughs> We're going to have to do some adjustments. This is going to be process. I love this color of yellow. It's so pretty. I couldn't help it when I when I saw it when, it, when uh, Walmart actually was selling sinful colors still. At least our Walmart anyways. I couldn't help it. I was like, this yellow is so pretty. All I can think was bumblebees. And I looked at the name and I was like, it says save the bees. <laughs> that is perfect. It's save the bees. It's meant for a honeybee manny. It, it, they nailed it when for it looks like honey. It looks like it belongs in a honeycomb. It's really pretty. It is. Alright, other hand. Ooh, it does look like doesn't it? It does. It looks like honey. I absolutely love it. Oh, I probably should have forewarned you. We generally have like some kind of conversation of like story time. So having you as a guest and us talking is not going to be any different from me doing stories in between no, steps. No, you're good. You're good. I mean, Lord knows there's, they, they get to know about the kids they don't get to see the kids physically for safety reasons, but yeah, they get to know about the kids. But I mean, they got to see Robbie's hands because I did a child Manny yeah. uh, video as well. So but I don't think they want to hear Cole and Anthony jabbering on about nerd stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I don't think they want to hear that in the background. <laughs> Don't think my viewers want to hear them jabbing about nerd stuff. I mean, a new 3D printer does sound cool, though. Not gonna lie. I don't think that's gonna be in our budget right now. <laughs> Actually, there are people who do 3D printed nail tips. Really? Yes, there are people out there I that like do them. Why break so easy? Well, um, if you look up, I think it's, her name's Emily Susanna, I think is her name. Um... On YouTube, she actually bought some 3D printed nails on Etsy, mm -hmm. and they were really cool and all, but, like, when she went to take a shower, something to do with the hot water, they, like, melted. I don't know if she just got a defective set. She, even she wasn't sure, like, if it was just the, like, the set itself, like, was defective or, or what, but, like. She was very unsure of why it did what it did. Hey, there we go. I knew something kind of off there for a second. 
We had a flake of gel that I missed. <laughs> it's okay. It just came off. And that I apparently had filed off, but it, like it was still hanging on by like a thread. One of those. I'm going to move this because I keep having it stick to my arm <laughs> and fall, and like I'm not okay with that. I don't want it getting damaged. Some of these actually have some pretty good value, and I'd rather not want to replace those. You don't want to damage those. No. Well, you know what? February's box sold out, and these are limited ones. Once they sell out, like they're they're gone, and um, they're exclusive. And the February box not only sold out, but there's people on you know buy sell trade groups for them mm -hmm. that are asking to pay hundred dollars for them wow. because they they want it that bad like it's already gone up in value significantly because of the limited availability and the fact that they weren't able to get it mm -hmm. so the availability of some of the stuff is very low and so the highly sought after items are i think the first halloween set that they came out with goes for like over a thousand dollars from what I heard and I, I can't imagine I've heard of people saying that they've seen it on eBay for like three thousand and I'm like I've never seen it on eBay but good god that I mean they're really cute and I want them but I can't not for three thousand <sighs> no I can't afford that I mean the fucking two hundred I spent well, I technically Anthony spent for me to get the pet cemetery was bad enough. It was like two hundred and fifty for those, and that was bad enough. It was worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. I bet that's like that's as much as I'm. I'm not gonna spend a grand on a set of plates. A few hundred was. It, that hurt enough. That was like his magic card all over again. The time twister. It was that all over again. Okay, so I think I will do one more coat. Okay. And, and then we'll get into the... We will get into the... Uh, the actual images. I gotta remember what fingers what. So that's what I was looking for. <laughs> I was like, hold on, which one's what? Because I don't remember. It's been so long since I've done that. That is one of my favorites though. It's really Look. cute. It's perfect for spring. Yes. But see, the Manny I'm wearing right now was for this month's box. It was dragonflies and butterflies. Mm. So I wanted to lean into the dragonflies. And uh, there we go, that's more opaque. I was trying to hide the nail line. Yeah. In case you were wondering what was going on there. No, you're good, you're good. So three coats, guys. We need three coats. Um, unless it's your natural nails, in which case two will work just fine. Three if you're hiding a nail line. <laughs> are so tiny. I know. <laughs> it just makes me feel like I'm working on my son with extensions. <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke. I'm pretty sure your nails are the exact same size as, as Robbie's. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm I, honest to God, I wouldn't doubt it. We need to get you over during a time that he's awake and compare. I'm down for it. I, I, I got to know because this is... Amusing. I think you have the same size nails as possibly the same size hands as my eight year old son. Like, I would lay odds on it. Which is freaky. I hate having small hands because trying to lift something heavy is absolutely garbage. Uh, 
Well, my hands aren't huge either, but like in comparison to yours, yours are absolutely tiny. Trying to like pick up like heavy objects has always been really hard for me. Same. And I can't get a grip on anything like really big that's, generally. That's how I am. So like I have to use like all of my body weight just to hold hold something. My knees. I, I prop on yeah. my knees and my thighs all the time. I use my forearms. Yeah, or like yeah, right, right yeah. here, or right here, or like yeah. right on the thighs. Like, yep. I'm the same way. I am exactly the same way. Okay, we're gonna put a quick dry top coat layer on this to okay. help dry this faster and not smudge everything when we go to stamp over top. So we need to reverse stamp quite a few of these. So that's why I have so many stampers over here. You get to actually see how I can get such really cool designs. Yeah, that will be really cool. A lot of people constantly ask me, how did you do that? Well, I can show you. If you Magic. just go right here. <laughs> go to this spot right here. Click a button and watch a video. And it will show you exactly how I do it. Because I'm literally doing it on my own nails. See, I feel like I couldn't do that on my own nails because I uh, mess it up. It takes practice. Just like I tell my viewers, it takes practice. And dedication, basically. I mean, you have to want it. Yeah. You have to really want it. And the lady that was in the drive-thru today, though, she's like, oh, I've been doing my nails for three years and I still can't do anything like that. I'm like, well, honey, yeah. <laughs> it takes practice. It's not going to happen overnight. And it's like if you want more tips on how to make it easier, you, you can look me up on YouTube and see tutorials on it. Because she was oohing and on over my set. And I'm like, oh, I've been doing this for a very long time. And. I thought honestly, with a lot of people starting out, they could do like the poly the, or the poly gel. Is that what you call it? Well, the, uh, the gel X? Yeah, the gel X. Mm -hmm. A lot of people do the gel X. That's why I actually did a video uh, tutorial on it. Um, one of my videos is that. I don't remember if you actually subscribed to my channel or not. I did. But if, I mean, if you look back, it was one of the first videos I did. Yeah. And it's really not that bad. You just have to be careful and make sure that you're doing the steps correctly or you could, you know, gain an allergy. That's why I said gel. Yeah. You need to be careful with gel because, you know, it will cause an allergy if you do not use it properly. And I don't think uh, A lot of people realize that when they start off on those systems and stuff, they just see it on Amazon and go, oh, this looks pretty cool and it looks pretty easy. And it is, but like if you do it improperly, you will, you will develop an allergy. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people are lucky who use it improperly and don't develop an allergy. They're yeah. lucky. Yeah. But like, it, ooh, gel allergies. I've seen some of the stuff it does to people's nails and it's like, <sighs> in their skin. And I'm just like, mm. yeah. I already have skin problems. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was like, anymore. exactly. That's why I was like, when you're using that stuff, you need to be very careful. I have been using gel for many years, but even when I first started, I did a shit ton of reach research and made sure that um, I was being very careful with my application and everything else before you know when I first started to make sure that I didn't mm -hmm. develop an allergy because even acrylic um you can develop allergies to acrylic you can develop allergies to dip powder and things like that if you're not careful these products you know that people think are super safe to use like you can easily develop allergies to yeah so okay so now we're gonna go in and start the rubber stamp and we're going to let that dry for a little bit here and we're going to go into the the fun stuff so we're getting into the fun 
going to need two of this image right here. So we're going to use this lovely honeycomb and bees with flowers from MXM054. And I'm going to get two of it since we're doing a full set today instead of one hand. That one's really pretty too. The bottom. Yeah. Oh, I love this set of plates. That's one of my... It gives me um, what you call it, like alchemist vibes. Are you picking <laughs> your flowers? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could definitely see that, like, old school alchemy, mm -hmm. like, medieval. Mm -hmm. I could definitely see that. Most definitely. Okay, I need my trash can. I need my trash can. Um, your other, uh, other set you did, the mushrooms one. Yes. That one reminds me of that. I was trying really hard. <laughs> I saw you decide. liked that one. That <laughs> one's too simple, and I will not recreate on, on camera. On that one? Yeah. Because literally it's just stamping a single color over top of another color. It's That's that. fair. But it, I was it's like, too I was simple. I Cole, I was like, look, it looks like an alchemy set. <laughs> it gives me all of the little mushrooms and it tells the, tells the names. You don't want to know how much I've spent on nail products. <clears throat> too much. Way too much. <laughs> But, I mean, it's been over the course of, like, close to 10 mm -hmm. years. Let's be fair. Like. Yeah. But as a generality, yeah. <laughs> Way too much money. I mean, I spent equally on my kids, so I can't say much. Like, I mean, you saw the place that I was at, I'm sure. Yeah. We're not going to get into how that much that hurt. Yeah. Because that was part of their Christmas and birthdays. On top of actual mm -hmm. Christmas and birthdays, and we were ho we were anticipating a bigger bonus than what he got too, and so like we spent more than his bonus on mm -hmm. it. So we we went in deficit for that one. That one actually we had to recover the bank account a little bit on that one because it was expensive. I get that definitely. It was not cheap. Like of how expensive everything is, I had to go from like something I don't normally like to do is like job hop three times. Mm, yeah. Because I couldn't afford to pay my bills. I, I can't do 15 hours a week to pay my rent. Yeah. I mean, I understand that too. Like. Because being a server wasn't cutting it, so I went to. I was gonna say, I remember you were you were waiting. Tables. Yeah, I was with O'Charlie's for about a month. Yeah. And then I ended up. It start. It wasn't a good environment to begin with. Yeah. Very much drama. Um, well, I mean that's just about everywhere. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> like, let's definitely. be honest, that's just about everywhere around here. Definitely. Like. But it's a serving just wasn't for me, so yep. I got. Um, Offered to go to Red Lobster, and there in Tullahoma, mm -hmm, I was part yeah. of the kitchen staff, and I loved that. I helped, like, uh, pretty much. I made the dishes pretty, and I, yeah. I uh, would tell the servers if the food was ready to go, and tell the kitchen staff what was else needed. I yep. loved that part. I only left because um, it's like I was my hours got cut severely to 15, 15 hours. Yep. All right, so we're going to go in with Trick Click on some of these flowers. Yeah, no, I get that. 100%. It, well, I mean, think about yeah. how much groceries are now. Oh, I know. Milk is like 4 or $5 now. <laughs> yeah, I know, but you use regular milk. You don't have a... Mm -mm. Yeah, you don't want to know how much ours cost. Oh, no, I'm sure it's more. Oh, the whole household except for me is lactose intolerant, so. So you have to have the special milk, and it's uh -huh. just even more pricey. It's ridiculous. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, no, I'm, I, um, I even buy Walmart brand instead of name brand, mm -hmm. and it comes, it doesn't come in gallons. It comes in half gallons, and I yep. pay as much as you do for a gallon for a half gallon. Yeah. And the kids go through it like crazy. And I have to send a half gallon every week to school for the youngest. Because mm -hmm. he won't drink soy milk. And, uh, yeah. 
Because the school actually now provides soy milk as an option oh, for those good. who are lactose intolerant. Because they they got enough kids that were lactose intolerant that they actually added it in. And so they actually called me and they go, hey, you know, is he okay to drink this? And I was like, yeah, no, if, if he wants to, that's fine. But, like, that's that's on him. Like, it, that's only if he wants to. Yeah. Like... And so he would he drank it in the past. I'm sure he will now. He's not nearly as picky as his brother. His brother is super picky. And Robbie's my little foodie. He is my little foodie. And I know that that boy is gonna end up with a food addiction if I don't like yeah. help encourage him to eat healthy and and healthy quantities because he will gorge himself yeah he we already had one incident where he gorged himself on a cheeseburger and i he ended up throwing up in the pool because he overate and i was like yeah so i was like no buddy we need to restrict this a little more like that's not healthy that's not healthy. So, set that aside. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the white. And we're gonna fill in some of these daisies. And this is just small enough that it doesn't want to stay. Go figure. I tried. That was my experiment for today and it did not work on these bottles. them in and for this is for the middle fingers it looks like which is nice see I did it on short squares so we're actually gonna go in a different shape this time which gonna be nice it would look good on the almond too to be honest yeah but I wasn't a hundred percent sure if I had the right sizes in the almond I knew I did in the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I was going to have to freehand sculpt that in acrylic, and I didn't want Anthony's migraine to start coming back. I wasn't about to do that to him. My husband works his ass off to provide. I wasn't about to, to make his life harder. I had my chronic migraines for years, and I... I know what they are like, and I don't like, they, they wipe me out. They're awful. I don't get them as bad as I used to, but every now and then, it still That's me. me. That's me. Um, after I got the daith piercing, I don't get them nearly as bad or as often as what I used to. Sadly, because of hormonal acne that I am notorious for getting. I had to take out my daith piercing like right after it was at the point where you could actually like, change the earring itself yeah. stage. I had to take it out because I got an acne spot right up against it Ugh. that was pushing it. And I had to let that acne spot heal. And by the time it finished healing, it closed up. That sucked. Yep, it closed up, and so I uh, lost my $60 piercing. It'd be all right. I'm not re-piercing it. It was annoying anyways, trying to wear earbuds or anything like that. <laughs> I couldn't do it. So I was like, you know what, guys? I'm not redoing it, and the earrings I bought for it work for my cartilage piercings anyways, so it'd be okay. And literally the only reason I got the piercing was to fix the migraine issue, so it wasn't my favorite piercing by any means. It's not like my eyebrow piercing. If that closed up, I'd have been pissed. Yeah. That one was purely aesthetic. I would have been very mad. Okay, so we're going to go in with the LA Colors Purple. You're going to see the magic here very soon. 
I loved Cole's reaction when he was trying to guess how this works. <laughs> It's like, what are these stickers? No. After he asked if I hand painted everything, well, kind of. I mean, I have to fill in all of the colors by hand. I have to pick the colors. I have to. Yeah. The, like, there's a lot to it. But this is a lot easier than actually hand drawing everything. Mm -hmm. But there's still a lot of challenges involved. We have a purple flower. Okay. And then the rest will be with Transcend the Trend. It's lovely blue. Oh yeah, no, the, the, my clear, I'm just, I'm admiring my clearance buys. <laughs> my Walmart clearance buys, like, that's how the bulk of my collection, how I got it. Most of what I've got, I did not pay full price for. I just would get lucky with clearances or like the Dollar Tree getting name brand stuff occasionally. Speaking of which, she, both Tullahoma and Manchester Dollar Tree has recently gotten some Sally Hansen stuff. So you may want to check them out. Like the Insta Dry and the. When I get paid, I definitely am. Because they got some and they go quick. I didn't help matters. The first time they stocked on that stuff at Tullahoma, I literally wiped the <laughs> shelf of everything but one because they were all different colors. That works out great too. Right in your favor. I mean like 20 bucks later. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks later, like a whole car full and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it was like, I know he's going to be mad for like a moment, but he'll also be more like, oh, God, I gotta work hard again. Because, <laughs> like, he encourages that I actually purchase the name brand stuff that's normally far more expensive than that when I catch it like that. Because, like, that's one hell of a steal. You can't pass that up. All right, time to fill in our little honeybees. We got the neon yellow from Clean Color. I'm just going to fill in these little honeybees. I love bees. I'm allergic to the dang things, but I love them. I love bees so much. Bees are so cute. They are cute. Bats are too. Bats are also cute. Bats are absolutely amazing. Especially like with the fruit bat. Fruit bat's my favorite. They look like little puppies with wings. <laughs> <laughs> They do. They look like little puppies with wings. I love it. They're so cute. And they're little squeaks. Oh yeah. my goodness, they're little squeaks. And then we're going to go in with She's a Star on the Wings. Yeah, accumulating the knowledge of how certain products are going to react with each other as well is another thing, too. It's a lot of accumulated knowledge here. I spent a very large chunk of my adult life working on it. And it's not something I would ever thought that I'd have got got to do, but yeah. And here we are. <laughs> I mean, when I first started um, doing acrylics on myself, like right before I got pregnant with Robbie, I never thought that I would actually get to. The point that I am now. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep telling my viewers, they're like, oh my god, you make it look so easy. And it's like, practice, 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 practice. You will get there, I promise, if you just practice and stick to it. Practice and research. Put your time in. You will get there. Okay. So you want to see the, see the magic? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so this is what it's going to look like, guys. Before it goes on the nail, we're going to have our cute little bumblebees and flowers. 
All right, so now we need the sticky base on. Oh, you wrapped that perfect. And that lotion did not uh, wonders on it. It looks a lot healthier than what it did. It does. I'll have to find the bottle so I can show you what one it is because it okay. seems like that would help you a lot. And like I said, the hardest hoof, also get that. You can get it at Walmart. Okay. Um, and a little goes a long way. Like, no joke, little goes a long way. I'm going to get oh. that finger with the sticky base, too. All right. I love how much that polish looks like honey. I know. <laughs> Just over here, like, oh wow. It looks like honey. I love it. It's so awesome. Because it looks like honeycomb. Save the Bees was such a perfect name for that. It really was. It was so perfect. I wish our Walmart started carrying them again. That brand has so cool, funky colors that I can't find in others. Unless I go online and spend a fortune. Okay, so now that we've got the sticky base, let's see, and it's at the tacky, we're gonna line up our stamp. Perfect, right, get my sticky stamping station. Clean off my stamper. All right, before this one gets too dry, we're gonna go in with the other one, line it up, and place like so. That's cool. <laughs> this is what I was gonna say, this is your first time actually getting the, the yeah. art and like getting yeah. to see the, That's cool. the process. Is that not neat? All right, and then we're gonna go in around the edges and we're gonna clean up around. If you think this is close, you've seen what I had to go through to do the one I'm wearing because I used alcohol inks for that. Now that, that was a fun one. You'll have to watch the video for that one. <laughs> <laughs> that will be this Thursday. That will be tomorrow when it launches. <laughs> I promised my viewers that I would do one inspiration mani with every month's box. At least one. This is this month's. So. Though this video will not release for a few weeks. Because I already have it scheduled, planned out for specific manis. Mm -hmm. I need to get a planner badly. I like this on the coffin. It was cute on the short square, but I like this on the coffin. It looks better on the coffin. It does. Most stuff does. And almond. Let's let's be honest, the almond really looks good too. Still that looks really good. I'm not a big fan of square, but there are some things that just look best on square though. Yeah. Like, let's let's be fair. Square has its own it has its own its own design. Mm-hmm. It has its own things. It has its own things. Like we'll, we'll we will be fair with that. Because we're doing the little honeybees now. Cole was looking at all my stampers. He was like, God, you got a lot of them over there. <laughs> <laughs> you can never have enough stampers. When you get a really complicated design, like you, the more the better. <laughs> the Saves you a lot more time, too. The more the better. That's also why I got that light pad. Oh, we can do moths later. I have moth Manny's designs planned. We do when we yeah, when we run out of the Instagram ones that I want to go back and do, we will do moths. Don't worry. Call me, please. <laughs> <laughs> we will do moths. Don't worry. This has got minor in comparison to the other moth plates I have. I'll have to show you after we're done recording, because like I can't stay too late because I work in the morning. Yeah, well, I got kids in school and... I get that. We all struggle with the kids. <laughs> yeah, except for you, the kids that you're struggling with aren't actually yours. No. 
I just the kids I'm struggling with are mine. Yeah, I at least said when I at the end of the day I get to go home and kind of relax. You have yes. you only have a certain amount of time. Yes. No, this this part will go pretty quickly. So. No, you're good. You're good. We're gonna go. I can in. hear a little but or a little James now. Who go? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh wow. Okay, so we're picking up these little bees off of MXM053. These little <coughs> these little bumbles with flowers. Little bumbles. These little bumbles. They're so cute. I love the little bumbles. And it's time for a new cotton ball. Oh, this is a little jar of butterflies. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm being yes. nosy. I love that. Yes, it is a little jar of butterflies. Oh, so cute. I have not used that particular image yet. There's so many. That's what part of why I was recruiting you and Victoria and, and probably Brittany as well because, like, there's so many, many ideas I have going around and, like, and changing mine out every single week has been abysmal. It has been invisible. Anytime. I, I, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I love all the Manny designs. But, like, it's just, it's really hard to find the time to go in and change it out. You're good. Anytime. And it's rough that. on my hands, too. Yeah. The, the constant acetone and everything else. It's rough. I've been using a peel-off base coat, though, that's been helping. But, of course, when you use a peel-off base coat, it's, like, chipping and peeling, mm -hmm. like, the very next day. So, like, it's just, I wanted a break. I wanted to be able to enjoy my Manny. My birthday's coming up. I don't want to have to change my Manny four times <laughs> this month. Especially after breaking a nail. That, that hurt. I want that to rest. I want it to rest for a little while. I'm, I'm ready for it to rest. And... My dog is it's still than tender. Well, my nails. I broke both pinkies. I took a chunk out of this one and I broke this one across here. <sighs> and yeah, no, I I broke both and I had to repair both and I need to let it grow out some and heal some before mm -hmm. I mess with it. So yeah. like that was another reason. I was like, I've had too many breaks. <laughs> Literal breaks in my fingernails. And they hurt. They actually hurt. They're tender. So, all right, time to fill in our bumbles. We're gonna use our neon yellow. And then I'm gonna have to recheck the picture to see what fingers these go on. And where. Yeah, Victoria is getting the Paper Mario. Yeah, I saw your paper Mario. That was cute, too. She didn't actually get to pick that one. <laughs> I was like, no, that's the next one I'm doing. But I know she'll like it anyways. Oh, yeah, she loves Mario mm -hmm. and Luigi's Mansion and stuff like that. Yeah, I knew she would like it. That's why I didn't even say anything. I was like, you're just... I was like, if you want it, you get Mario. Because <laughs> I'm not charging you for the, my time and product. So... Products expensive these days. Let's be fair. Products freaking expensive. Thankfully, I have a nice buildup, but the amount I've spent in top coats and stuff lately, I'm, I'm kind of cringe. Cause this one alone is like ten bucks, and I go through that like crazy. And like my favorite matte top coat, same thing. It's like 10, 11 bucks. And when you do a Manny a week, it goes it quick. Adds it, it adds up. It adds up. It goes quick. It goes quick. And then, of course, paper towels, cotton balls, mm -hmm. all of that stuff, too. Acetone. Oh, Lord. The amount of acetone I go through. Acetone's definitely expensive. Yes. And I know that from, like, with coal with his 3D printing. Mm-hmm. 
He uses the same stuff as me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you would, you definitely know. All right, so we're going in with She's a Star on the Wings. From Salon Perfect. I love this color so much. It does great for snow. I love that one winter set you did. It was with the <laughs> trees, like the snowy trees. I told Cole, I said, if it wasn't like spring, <laughs> I was just like, I love this set. So I already like did, did a video on it. Did you? already did a video on it it is so pretty though that you did. yeah that is one of my favorites that was uh if you look at it it's this uh simple elegant winter mani i believe is what i named it as yeah and yeah it's yes that's one of my favorites your other one too the starry one i think it was this one with the constellation on the thumb with the reindeer i'd have to look it up <laughs> I'd have to look it up because I'm not sure which one. I've done so many. I know Girl, you like have. I've done so many I over the years. Like have. it's like so hard to remember what ones are what. Uh, oh my god, I have to show you. I'm going to do it on myself when I have when I'm no longer tied down by holiday manis. Um, there's a coffee mani that I did. Oh, yeah, that's been oh I did that one. 2022. It's been a while. November 30th, yeah. It's been a while. They did that a couple years ago. I had to stop and think. I was like, hold up. <laughs> hold up. Um. Okay, so we're going to go with Transcend the Trend on the lovely little flower at the bottom of the bumblebee. Right there. I never zoomed in, so... Yeah, Robbie's actually got his own nail stuff, his own stamping plates and stuff, too. Aww. Yep. He does his own. And we're going to go in with the purple. And let's not lose the little swatch ring. <laughs> <laughs> let's not. I think I originally did pink, but we're going to do purple this time because I don't feel like I'm tapping into my phone. You're good. You're good. It's close enough. It's still spring. That's all that matters. It's close enough, guys. What's a recreation without a minor alter alteration on it, right? Okay, so I do need to tap into my phone to figure out what fingers these go on. Because I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so the flower ones go on the pinkies and the moon ones go on the thumbs. So these are thumbs. And these are pinkies. And we're gonna need our sticky base. I'm gonna have to zoom out. I gotta remind myself of certain steps while filming because I'm still getting accustomed to it. Almost six months in and I'm still getting accustomed to it. Have you thought about getting like a little booklet with your old designs and like putting it in that way you can flip through it. Uh, that's kind of what my Instagram has turned into. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. That's kind of what my Instagram turned into. That's what I was like. I mean, pretty much almost everything I've ever done is either on Facebook or Instagram. So mm -hmm. I can kind of go back and look. Um, there's some stuff that I need to go back on Facebook and look and redo. Mm-hmm. But, like, depending on how far back you go, you go far enough back and the quality's not nearly as good because I was still learning. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if I showed you the acrylic set that I did. All right, so we're going to go in with the little bumblebee. All right. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. And we're going to take it to the corner and do it at a diagonal angle. Like so. Our other hand before it gets too dry and we're gonna do the same on the other hand these are so freaking cute okay so I don't 
don't damage them by accident with acetone because it will eat my stamper. I've had enough accidents with stuff lately. I don't trust myself because of what time it is. <laughs> I don't trust myself at all. All right, so now we're going to go in on the thumbs with sticky base. All right, other one. Damn, Anthony. <laughs> I closed the door. I, I swear they made it their personal goal to get it's louder. You can hear Anthony more than Cole now. That's that's what I'm saying. I was like, they it's like they made it their personal goal since I closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> to get even louder. It's okay. I don't think they're loud enough to be heard on camera at this point. I don't think they are either. <sighs> but it is kind of funny. Alright, so on the opposite corner. Yes, we're tacky enough. If it's too wet, when you go to apply it, it will smudge everything. Instead of allowing adhesion like what we're after. All right, now we're gonna go in. And here's the easiest part. On the index, we're going to go in with O oh Honey. And we're not going to need sticky base for this because we literally just pick it up and stamp it down. As long as I don't accidentally remove the words <laughs> on the sticky stamping station here. I love it. I, I do. Uh, when you picked that one, I was like, yes. <laughs> it's like, I am perfectly okay with that one. Because I don't, I can't really afford to redo my old ones on myself either. Because I have to do the new ones generally. Keep up with the new stuff. And I rarely ever redo the same thing on myself twice. Rarely. Final images is going to be my plate, the Be Yourself, this lovely image right here. On the ring finger. <laughs> That's yours. <laughs> I do My believe. My thigh hit it. <laughs> I do believe you're you're trying to dial from your lap here. Your lap your lap dialing. I mean, it's not butt dial. It's lap dial because <laughs> you have it dangling from you. Impressive thigh dialing. Yep. Your call cannot be completed as devilled. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. <laughs> oh, that lovely uh, message. All right. And we're lined up at the top. The be yourself. Beautiful. And then we're going to have our lovely little bumble right here with the heart buzzing around. So freaking cute. I'm sure you saw the other B plates. Now, the other mm -hmm. B plates I got after I did this Manny, too. Oh, really? So, like, I didn't even have them as an option. All right, we're going to get you in the shot here. And then it goes across, like so. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's got a little smile. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Yes, this... You picked one of my favorites. I want the honeybee license plate so bad. I see so many people with it too. I, and I had want the honeybee license plate. I had a Volkswagen Bug, and it was. I didn't. I only get got to drive it three times, and it took a shit on me. That's unfortunate. So whenever I get more money and I remember to, I'm gonna get it and put it on my Nissan. With a little smile. <laughs> Oh, he's got a little hard. I told you it's not that it's not that complicated. One the the bulk of the time was spent on extensions. No, it's not. That's so cute. Yeah, the more simple ones like this, but it does have like some work. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take nearly as long. The extensions is what takes the bulk of the time. Hands down. Every time. But if you want no like something like mm -hmm. this, that takes a lot more time. Yeah. That's not simple. The, the uh yeah. <laughs> it was a long one. It was just for one hand. It's really pretty, though. I don't do anything halfway. <laughs> if you can't tell, I don't do anything halfway. It's not sustainable. I go out with a bang kind of thing. I like my complicated stuff for some reason. I don't like complicated relationships when it comes to Manny's. Bring on the challenge. Bring on the challenge. All right, so now we're going to go with our smudge-free top coat. So that way when we go to seal it in with the better top coat, it doesn't ruin the images we just put in. Okay, let's see, we got to get in shot here. They're so stinking cute. And then we will go in with pictures after we're done filming for the actual uh, mm -hmm. thumbnail. Like I said, you picked a good one. <laughs> you picked a good one. You picked one of my favorites. Can't um, go wrong with bees. No, bumblebees are so freaking cute. And much is a good place to yes. bring in the bees. It's a good spring, Manny. It's a good pick. You should see the Easter Manny I did. Ooh. I'll have to show you. And it can be turned into a spring Manny too. You only change two nails on the elements of what's on it and you have a good spring Manny. You don't even have to change the base color. Just the elements on the nails. I was like, yep. That's what I mean. Cole got married on Easter. <laughs> the day before Easter. We weren't planning for it to be on Easter. It just happened to be that way. Yeah, that's why you caught me with the science effects last time. You caught me in the spring. <laughs> like, so it's like every time I see you, you have a science effect. Well, well, maybe if you stop seeing me during spring and fall, <laughs> during the times of years that I always have freaking science effects. And though, I'm telling you, this last one was a freaking doozy. At the point where it went into my freaking teeth, I was just absolutely over it. The fact that I've had this is the first one I've ever had, I think, that where I had to have two rounds of antibiotics. Like two. Where did I put it there? Antibiotics the are already rough as it is, too. And well, then yeah, and then like it. the notorious for getting yeast infections because it throws your whole body chemistry off. And like this last time that I went in for the second round, I told him I was like, I'm gonna need something to prevent it. It almost gave me one this last time. Like I'm not going to avoid it a second time. There's no way. Mm -hmm. Back-to-back -back antibiotics, it's going to give me a yeast infection, for sure. I hate being diabetic. <laughs> it sucks. I'm sure. The constant infections suck. Oh, I don't blame you. It's rough. It sucks. And that's why I'm so strict with Robbie and his you know on his sugar intake because he was he was eating so much sugar because he does so well at school and that's their reward system is yeah, sugar. sugar and because he literally brought home a can of full sugar sprite from school as a reward for acing one of his tests like 100 percenting his test i'm like congratulations you 100 percent your test i'm glad but um a can of sprite <laughs> like really 
And he's like, oh, yeah, and I got these two suckers, and I've got this, and I've got that. I'm like, oh, my God, John. He's like, yeah, those are from a couple days ago from those tests. I'm like, thank God you're being conscious, buddy, because I've, I've explained to him, you know, what I have to go through. Mm -hmm. And he sees my medication list. He sees all of the stuff in my pillbox, so he knows how much I have to go through. And I've explained that, you know, if you're not careful, this is going to be you. Mm -hmm. You have diabetes on both sides of your family. You are at a higher risk of having it. Mm -hmm. So you need to be careful. And otherwise you could very well end up the same way. So he understands. And thankfully, you know... I feel like they could do a better reward system than she I do too, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I feel like it, it could be a better reward system as well, but you know. At least his teacher doesn't let him just eat it all right then. And that is good. I mean, I did explain to her his issues and stuff and like she only permits him to eat one piece. So, and then the rest he has to bring home. That's why he keeps bringing it home. But it also puts me in a bad position because I can't give him nearly as many treats. Yeah. Because he's getting so much at school. So, it's, it's frustrating. But it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to go in with the Seche Vitae's Quick Dry Top Coat. Seal this all in and help it last longer. You can leave it at just the smudge free, but it does not last nearly as long as a regular top coat. So I would recommend using a glossy top coat or a good durable quick dry top coat at this stage. for longevity. I love this on the coffin. I love this it on the coffin. It looks really good on the coffin. I think it looked good on the almond too. Mm -hmm. it just has such tiny fingers. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I will look at some more from Unigella to see if I can get um, more sizes, and of course, I can always Next sculpt. Next time I think I want to try to do almonds, since I've never had almonds before either. And Cole was really nervous about the stiletto. <laughs> that cracks me up. As soon as he realized what the stiletto was, he was like, oh. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it's like, what did I sign up for? <laughs> I, I, I can see that what did I sign up for kind of thought process going through his head. Oh, I know. I would just poke him. He'd be like, oh. Oh, they were true stilettos. They were true stilettos. They were not almond. That's told me he's being dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it was Austin, it truly is dramatic. Austin's a whole nother level of dramatic. He's uh, quite the drama queen of his own, and he yeah. claims Alex is a drama queen. No, he is. He, he he's is. more dramatic than Alex. He is. He's more dramatic than I've Alex. I've known him since high school. I know. And he's he's always been dramatic. Oh, it's funny. It's funny when Victoria just, like, <laughs> burns the living daylights out of him for it. I know, it's funny as hell. Like when he overdid it partying and then freaking wound up passed out on the floor, barely even freaking taking anything. And like, she's like, oh, he's just being a little. Mm. <laughs> it's like, dang. It's so loving. <laughs> she's like, he's such a drama queen. He's just being dramatic. <laughs> she kind of rolled her eyes and went and fetched him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like and that's just like he never came around when our walls in our bathroom weren't purple and then he, he comes out and he goes when did you paint the walls purple <laughs> it's like 
dude, they've always been purple since we just started coming over. <laughs> it's like we painted it purple back in 2020. <laughs> like, it's always been that. Oh my god. How did you not, like, realize this? I put that in the wrong location, didn't I? I did. Um... I have specific locations and I'm pretty sure I just tossed them in the wrong one by accident. Because I have my quick dries in specific spots and yep, because I have, yep, I put the gel where the quick dry goes. You idiot. Uh, it's okay. I'll fix it. I fixed it. Okay. So, alright, we're going to go ahead and get close up. So if you want the band-aid one, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what it looks like after you've applied all of your stamps. Little honeybees. And that's all I did, guys. So that is today's Manny. We have our honeybees with flowers and it's so dang cute. This is a perfect little spring Manny. <laughs> it is. It's a perfect little spring Manny. All right, everyone, so for those who like this video and have would like to help support the channel, please give a like and a comment if you have watched more than one of my videos and you like my content, feel free to subscribe. That helps as well. If you want to help in another way, if you're pla placing an order with Maniology, feel free to use my discount code. It'll be in the description below. You will get 10% off of anything that is not the MXM plates or the MXM box. And I get a small kickback. And for those of you who already been doing all that, thank you. You guys have been a big help. Uh, you've got help support, <laughs> as I was explaining to show you here, um, acetone, cotton balls, all the top coats, and everything else <laughs> that is going very quickly <laughs> because of these weekly videos. Um, it's been a big help. And we already had a nice bonus video because we had one time where it was a decent enough payout to try clear jelly stampers. So if you guys, you know, we get enough subscribers and get enough support we can do more of that so thank you all who have been subscribing and liking commenting and using my code you've all been a big help and i hope you all are having a good morning afternoon evening night wherever you, whatever it may be wherever you are at while you are watching this video and until next time guys thank you all for watching bye <laughs>